Sheathing Control Configuring PostFrame Manager to reflect your specific criteria for the underlayment you want to have automatically applied, no matter which siding or roofing material you select, is another feature that the system makes very easy to do. Once you have established your preferences, these materials will be pulled automatically as part of your materials package when you have chosen that particular roofing or siding. To make your selections, click on Project Tools and Editors from the Startup screen or open the PostFrame Systems Tools menu by clicking on the Tools menu under System Tools and Editors on the Primary Attribute screen. In either case, click on the Sheathing and Underlayments button to open the Sheathing Control window. Instructions on how to use the commands are shown on this screen. The two steps to the process of making your selections are highlighted in red. Step number one, choose the application category from the drop-down listing shown. In this case, we'll look at asphalt shingle roofing in the category window. When you choose that or any other category, notice that there are two checkboxes shown immediately to the right, labeled Apply Sheathing and Apply Felt or Mesh. Checking either box activates any item selected in the windows under Step number 2, Choose Materials. If the Apply Sheathing box just referred to is unchecked, no underlayment will be applied. If the Apply Felt or Mesh box is unchecked, no felt or mesh will be applied either. So in this case, we have selected an underlayment of 0 0.62 inches, or 5 eighths inches thick. That's 5 divided by 8 equals 0 0.62, 4 by 8 OSB untreated plywood, which will be applied by default whenever asphalt shingle roofing is selected for any building. If we had wanted another underlayment instead, simply select it and thereby change the selection. Just click on your choice in the underlayment window. Similarly, we see that a 2 foot by 200 foot roll of roofing felt will be specified whenever asphalt shingle roofing is being applied to any building because the apply felt or mesh box is checked. After making a selection for any category, click the OK button. Then proceed to the next category and make similar selections. Be sure to click the OK button whenever you have made a change to any category listing. In the case of steel roofing or steel siding, there is one additional checkbox shown. Use on steel. If you want to have an underlayment applied when specifying steel siding or roofing, check that box and make your selections in the window in step number two as previously discussed. When you have completed your selections, click the Done button. That's all there is to setting your defaults on the Sheathing Control screen. This concludes the Sheathing Control instructional video.